Here we go. You're listening to Brian Sussman on Hot Talk 560 KSFO. Sherry, can we do one more bit of sound here? This is Obama. He's having trouble with his memory, or and, and this is inexcusable. He's speaking at Fort Drum yesterday, U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division, thanking them for their service. And then he talks about Jared Monty, who received the Medal of Honor. Would you please listen to this for just a moment, and then I'll explain how he really screwed up. Go ahead, Sherry. You know, I had the great honor of seeing some of you because uh, a comrade of yours, uh, Jared Monte, was the first person who I was able to award uh, the Medal of Honor to uh, who actually came back uh, and wasn't uh, receiving it posthumously. Okay, this is an embarrassment, folks. Yeah, he did present... Uh, Jared Monty with the Medal of Honor, but that was after Jared Monty had died in action. Oops. Oopsie dupsie. And he can't remember that. This is the commander in chief, and he can't remember giving this medal to the guy's grieving parents. He couldn't remember that. That's inexcusable. Okay, on to lighter fare, please. Let's close out the week in style. The idiot reel. Loving the idiot reel, folks. The politicians, celebrities, luminaries, whack jobs who say things that would make, you know, a normal person like us bury our heads in a bottle of rum. Obama, oh, he's bringing the troops back home. Jon Stewart, the comedian, says, oh, I'm not an activist. I'm not a lefty. CNN's Candy Crowley asked David Axelrod, is it cool to be an Obama supporter? Obama, he's got your back. Oh, yeah, he's got your back. The idiot rail, ladies and gentlemen, often imitated, never duplicated on KSFO. We will be able to remove 10,000 of our troops from Afghanistan by the end of this year. And we will bring home a total of 33,000 troops by next summer. But the thing that you will never understand, and the thing that in some respects conservative activists will never understand, is that Hollywood, yeah, they're liberal, but that's not their primary motivating force. I'm not an activist. I'm a comedian. It's not as cool to be an Obama supporter now. How do you get cool back into this? Well, let me say, first of all, I find it as cool to be an Obama supporter. I believed that discrimination because of somebody's sexual orientation or gender identity ran counter to who we are as a people. And it's a violation of the basic tenets on which this nation was founded. When did I say to you, I'm only a comedian? I said I'm a comedian first. That's not only. Being a comedian is harder than what you do. I finally felt sorry for Anthony Weiner at that press conference with people heckling him, making him a further spectacle. He's, he's gone, and it, it just seemed incredibly mean. To do a balanced approach to reduce our deficits, you have to make modest changes in revenues. There's no realistic opportunity to do uh, alternative to doing that. We do want to remove tax subsidies for big oil. We want to remove tax breaks for corporations that send jobs overseas. That list goes on. It almost makes you wonder if they aren't trying to slow down the economy recovery intentionally for political gain. We expect the unemployment rate to continue to decline, but the pace of progress remains frustratingly slow. America, it is time to focus on nation building here at home. He is so good at understanding that you just keep building. You don't keep looking back. You don't keep checking polls. You don't. You keep doing the work that needs to be done. Um, and that's why I like him as my president. To all of you uh, who uh, are potentially going to be redeployed, uh, just know that uh, your commander in chief has your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got your back. He's got your back. He's got your back on this economy too. As I told you earlier, I've done the math. I've done the math. I want you to spread the word on this. In the last three months, this is not good news. Last three months, 4.4 million jobs lost. Last three months. Last three months. Mm. Last full year of the Obama minist- of the Bush administration, 2.6 million jobs lost. We thought that was bad. This is the last three months, folks. All right, listen. Let's just make it a great weekend. We're going to take this state back. We're going to take this country back. We're here on KSFO to do this for you. Just a moment. we got.